all right guys we're here doing a deck profile decking fight basically for a budget seekers deck uh, for people that can't really get most of the chip rares or just starting the game and not able to get everything they need uh, for to play these decks I thought it would be um, very helpful to be able to just make some budget decks so they can see how decks how the deck is played and if they can play with a um, minimum of cards uh, these cards are mostly going to be double rares and rares, and I have the Blaster Blade Seekers here, and then the one uh, Thing Saver, just because you get this for free during the Legion format right now, so you should have this, and you get at least one Blaster Blade Seeker for free for the medals, and then like you get one for rank reward. So if you got at least to Legend Ten, which I, um, you know, you know what I mean, I basically it buys to make sure you grind your legends as much as possible to get the cards that you need and also these cards can be material so you know what I mean it's never bad to grind out the ranks but like I said these is mostly just doubles right into it all right so still playing the starter advanced party seeker filet filet I haven't done a, a deck profile for the proper way to build this deck yet so do not butcher me if I mess up these names. Uh, his skill is basically when Legion uh, put him into the soul, call a Blaster Blade Seeker from your deck. He has resist. Most of the starters in each clan has a resist starter. So that's pretty nice. Can't be retired. Uh, stuff like that. So they're definitely safe from everybody trying to start a snipe, which I am a starter sniping fanatic. Starter sniping gang all day, every day. Uh, still good to play because you want to pump out your blast away seeker when you need it so you can get re get that retire in and take out your opponent's intercepts. So being able to tune around them out when you need them is pretty nice. Best starter in the game right now. So we're also playing four of the uh, what's his Igbird. Igbird is basically the crit pressure uh, legion. Um, he legions with full bloom seeker Cedric. His skill is when um, when you are in Legion, if you have three or more secret rear guards, count blast two, get plus two K in the crits. And then he has the basic Legion skill when he attacks plus two K. So it's pretty nice to uh, play him because he can pound, like he can basically count blast four and get three, um, have three crit. So there's a lot of crit pressure. You can catch your opponent off guard pretty easily like that. And since you're playing the great one uh, counter charger, if you do have a blast away seeker, you can counter charge your cards which you will be calling out with this guy over here, but I'll get to him in a second. You're still playing the um, the one that you you play in basic Seekers right now, uh, the Brutus, which uh, Spling Seeker Brutus. Um, Legions with Combined Strength Seeker uh, Lucranus. Lu Lucranus, okay, whatever. <laughs> During your turn, during your turn, if you are in Legion, your whole front row gets plus three case only for Seekers. And when he's placed, Count Blast one to call um, the Legion mate from your deck. So he's really good. He's one of the cards you want to call. Um, in this deck, you want to call last because he basically puts up your intercepts for minimum counter blast. Keeps you with intercepts so you can keep your defense up after you pump your opponent with crits and get them to five. So super good. Still playing four up. In other Legion deck, you actually want to play him first to start like getting pluses, and he's really good going first. So good going first, good going second, and then we have the four up heal trigger, basically 10k Legion, uh, plus 5k um, when he attacks a Vanguard in Legion, and then plus 2k on rear guard um, as a 12k attacker. He Legions with natural talent seeker Val Val Rod. And his name is Secret Sword, um, Secret Sword Seeker, <laughs> tongue tied, uh, Vortgren. Okay. You really don't want to draw him. You really don't want to use him too much. He's just a legion in the deck because there's literally no other better non triple rare royal cards to be playing in this deck because everything is xenophobic. So you want to play as many secrets as possible. It's really hard to play non secrets in this deck. It only benefits the great ones, so everything else needs to be seekers. And like I said, we're still we're playing in one of uh, things they were dragging. As long as you have a blast away seeker in your, well, you know, I mean, you really can't do the multi attack, but he's just there, just to you know, be able to have a vanguard to counter charge. You know, he's just there to look nice, really. 
<laughs> you can't use a skill because you don't have another one, but he just looks nice in the deck. You can push him out for something else, but like I said, your deck needs to be all Seekers, especially your grade three. So he's just basically a vanilla Seeker, I mean a vanilla um, Legion, basically. All right, so we're still playing, we're playing um, the 12K attacker for Seekers. Um, when you event, um, during your turn, if your event has a Seeker, it gets plus 3K. He Legions with the um, crit guy. And then we're also playing three of the combined skill Seeker uh, Lucris. Uh, when he, when you are in, when you, when you legion that turn, he gets plus 4k, so he's a 14k attacker, hits 21k numbers with a 7k booster, and if he gets the plus 3k from his legion leader, he's able to hit, uh, was it, 23k numbers, and then we're also playing 10k just for the legion of the heal trigger, just in case you need to use them. Uh, one of the pretty good cards in the deck is Great Crossbow uh, Seeker Gildas. Gildas basically tuners out your Grade One uh, counter charges, so you only, that's why you only play one of him. And he also put tuners out intercepts for only counter blast one. So super strong. Since so your decks, uh, it's really hard for you to pump out cards like Royal should be supposed to be doing. The Grade Two Legion um, Gildas actually takes care of that for you. Then we're playing two Blaster Blade Seeker. Just so you can be able to have that that grade two retire um, intercept retire, super basic. Vanguard has to be seeker. Um, we're still playing four of the filter, drop and draw Leon. Rest this unit, draw discard a card, drop and draw a card, and then we're also playing four of the OPG because we don't care about limit break, so we don't want our opponent critting us to five, and then we're playing two 10k. Um, 10k seeker great ones in the front row just because just because just in case you don't have intercepts or cards to hit good numbers your 10k will take care of that for you and then we're also playing a very nice 10k basically when placed he gets plus 4k in the front row he's actually an 11k swinger but is only on place and when he when you have legion that turn and like I said, we're still playing the one of of the counter charger seeker when he um, when the attack of a blaster base seeker boost it hits a vanguard, draw um, draw a card, put a card in your hand to the bottom of your deck, and then counter charge. Super nice. You tune her out with Gilda, so you know you get to it when you need it. All right, let's take. All right, this is the only time we're playing seekers with Aichi, but. So y'all yeah, enjoy people that I love Aichi enjoy that because I'm a Kai guy. Let's get into some games. See if we see how this game this deck has does. Um, I ranked up pretty well with these decks, so I have a couple more budget decks coming. And as I was talking with my chat about not seeing <laughs> Taji anywhere, and here we go with some Taji. This deck is really just good stuff. Uh, seekers, you know, just playing good, really good stuff. We're going first, so we kind of want the Brutus. Keep 10k attacker, keep this, and keep the filter. Hopefully you draw another grade one. That's good, so we can ride that. And then filter cards, filter triggers that we draw. All right, so we got another filter. So I might want to just ride this filter. And just filter that booster there. All right, we got a blaster blade seeker. I kind of want to keep in my hand. So this is cool. This is pretty cool. This is definitely a weird matchup because that crit pressure might prove to be a little bit difficult to deal with if I don't draw any PGs. Like as a paladin, as paladin players goes, drawing PGs is kind of difficult. Kind of tough. Alright, definitely filtering that heal trigger. Go ahead and ride the 10k. Uh, since we're going first, we don't really need to push any damage. So we'll filter this thing going heal trigger. And draw into Sting Saber. Why not? We're going to filter him next turn anyway, so it's fine. Mm, he needs to hit some triggers, boy.
If everything goes well, we should be able to take this game. We're drawing pretty good cards. Oh, never mind. I just remember I need PGs to survive any kind of shenanigans. And there they all go. Bye, PGs. Nice not having you. Alright, so I'm probably going to push a little bit. Mm, maybe not. I don't think I, I have the numbers to do it. I really don't think I have the numbers. Because I have to hit triggers. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let us try. No, because I don't have counter charge either. I'm good. I'm not going to push any damage. I don't have counter charge. I don't want to waste too much counter blast. Which it looks like I would have been able to push the good amount of damage. Nice heal though. I wouldn't have seen that heal. So I'll take that one. Uh, he would have been at four, but uh, I wouldn't have healed. So, you know what I mean? Sometimes decision is a decision to make. Just gotta hope it works out. I was just talking about how the break route might, it would be good. Let's see. It's nice to watch other players play stuff and see if it's going to be good or not. Nice draw trigger and into another Brutus. No trigger, so we don't go to three. Hopefully we can hit some heals and get those PGs back. <laughs> nope, well we just draw the heals. That's a thing. Hmm. So I guess I'll do this. I really want to filter, but mm, no need. All right, let's put this back, this back, this back, and keep those, this guy in deck. Since we're calling one and legion in one all the time. Those, those guys definitely come out your deck a lot quicker than Blasted Blade Seekers. All right, so we use his skill to get the counter charger. And then we use a starter skill to get the Blasted Blade Seeker. Go ahead and get him out of the deck. Don't have to waste the one in our hand. And then use Blasted Blade Seeker to retire the intercept so we can push some good damage. Which he's gonna Legion. So, I mean not Legion, but Break Rod into a Legion. So we don't have a PG actually, so that's kind of terrible. Yeah, I'm going to have to filter. Oh, I should have filtered before. I forgot he gives plus 2k. Ah, we got the trigger. There's always a risk. There's always a risk. It's fine. And he hits a heal. <laughs> that is so funny that he hit that heal. It's fine. So he was never break riding. He was never break riding. I have another Blast of Ice Seeker, but I don't want to use it now and waste the. Uh, which I, I don't. I sh it's a filter and a counter charge, so I guess I might use it. Mmm, nice heal. We take that. Okay, so I'm definitely using a Blast of Ice Seeker. I might want to re Legion. No, I don't really have any triggers. How many of the guy I have in deck? I have intercepts, so there's no reason to re Legion. Let me go ahead and filter. Brutus. I ain't going to be able to use the crit guy, so let's just filter the crit guy. Oh my gosh. Hmm. That's terrible. Okay, let us do 10k. Blaster. And then go here. And we would have swung first with Vanguard, so he would have healed. I can't wait forever. Hopefully we get to a PG. We can put this back in our deck. 
<laughs> Another trigger. Oh man, he's gonna be swinging with triple crit too. Oh, never mind, just two crit. Okay. But it's gonna be multi attack. Retiring the starter without Legion. Nice. We take those. Alright. So, he's gonna have multi attack. But his Vanguard has to swing first, I think. Unless he has something to retire first, so we'll see. If he, if he has multi-attack, then... If he has a way to retire cards before Vanguard attack, then we're good. Then we're dead. But if, we don't, if he doesn't, then we're fine. Let us see what our opponent has. Alright. Alright. Okay. All right, he does it. Cool. Cool. Must have PGs in hand. Must got hella PGs in hand. He's not playing crits, is he? Let's hope not. One PG gone. And he heals. That's his last heal. And the rest of them are in damage. He has two in drop. No, he has. They're all in damage. And one's in soul. Ooh, nice heal. Nice heal. We like it. Not all ours is in damage. Okay, so what I can do is I could go crit guy Since I drew all my legion mates For the other guy, I guess we can go crit guy <laughs> I like how the game makes decisions for you. That's funny All right, so we can swing with four crit So we'll do This let's just legion Legion back heal, draw, PG blaster. And let's just see if he has a PG. Uh, double intercept. Filter. Why do I keep filtering after I... <laughs> <laughs> Which it worked out. I appreciate it, but I need to stop filtering after I uh, legion. All right, let's do it again. Let's get that crit in there. Let's get that crit in there. I wouldn't do that if um, if he was on limit break, but since he's not, he's gonna go crazy with the crit. Heal Zulkin. Yes. Get those heals. Get those heals. He has a PG. Okay. All right. So we'll be able to Legion back Brutus. I mean, not Brutus, but the Brutus is uh, Legion mates. But our opponent is going to Legion back a heal and two draws. That's fine. Pretty fun. He has one PG at the bottom of the deck. Well, he's about to shuffle, so I guess it doesn't matter. He probably shuffled that other turn too. No, I cheat. That was after Legion. Okay. All right. What are you gonna do? Good thing those heals is damage. We don't have to worry about it. We might be able to take this game. Oh, he's about to get the heal trigger out of the deck. Out of the soul. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Now he's putting back four heals. Oh, no. He already legion. <laughs> what am I thinking? Okay. He has no way to retire cards. Does this doesn't retire anything, right? Nah. So we're taking two damage. I don't know what happened with his plays, but... Alright, so we're going to counter charge. No reason to Legion. Because we have, what, two triggers and drop? Three triggers? Yeah, hmm. The power would be nice. Yeah. The power would definitely be nice. Yeah, we'll Legion. We'll Legion... Just for the power. Alright. Uh, Legion him, him. 
Oh, no draws. Just heals. Another one of him in there. And then a blaster. No heals. So just to just to save my blaster, because I'm gonna counter charge. Ah, I should have called this. Okay, never mind. It's fine. I would have been able to have another blaster, but it's fine. Alright, let's just do this. Let us do this. Let's see if he has the uh the one heal he put back, I think it was. Hit the draw trigger. Hopefully not into a PG. Alright. Let's see if he has that that thing on him. Nope. And we take that win. That was a nice win. We take those. We take those. Alright. That super crit popping out the PG. You know what I mean? Continuously just pressuring, putting damage on him. And that's how the deck plays. It's pretty good. I'm only gonna give you one game, not like my other deck profiles, because this is mostly just a budget, quick little build for everybody to play. Uh, if like I said, if you don't have all the triple rares or whatever, just you know, what I mean, good stuff, good stuff. Seeker still works out. It's still a pretty good deck. I'm gonna give you a little look at the deck list one more time. Everything's pretty good. You can try to switch this out for something else, but like I said, xenophobic. You want to have all seekers as much as possible. Yes, sir. So here's the deck. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Any support is appreciated. Um, I have more deck profile, budget deck profiles coming out soon. Uh, look for those. Peace. I'm out.